Hey guys and welcome to this video where I will be talking about the soul weapons. Um, I have touched a bit on this topic in the patch video but wanted to give a more in-depth guide to them. So this video will be about that. Let's just get right into it. Um, how to unlock the soul weapon content which is an update to the unique weapons. You need to get to about this part in map 6 on when you will meet Kane, who will give you some story missions and uh, explain actually what the soul weapons are and how you can use them. The guide they have built into the game is actually pretty good, um, but in case you need a bit more in-depth explanation, I think this video might be helpful to you. Let's see, today everyone should have received their soul weapons already. Mine is here on, to, on the growth. Yeah, I've, sadly I have received Ricardo, so yeah, a bit bummed about that, but it's what it is. I'm gonna just use him now for um, show, showcasing what the soul weapons are. It's not really worth grinding. You can grind it here. Uh, if you click grind, it will tell you that you get a hundred uh, soul stone ticket fragments, but you can see that this is class based, so uh, I could only use um, it for night. Souls, uh, soul stone fragments, not that useful for me, might as well use it just to showcase how they work. So let's get to it. Um, first of all, let's see, the King Sanctum. So this is the main area where you will manage your soul weapons. To unleash the weapon you need a soul that you, you can have. Um, here I have Ricardo, so the UV is put on top but you can see all of the unique weapons listed that can have a soul weapon. What you need to be aware of that if you have multiple copies, then it will list multiple weapons. For instance, my Annette's, Annette has an extra weapon, which I'm keeping for an upgrade, and it will be listed here. So you could unleash the wrong weapon, but thankfully Vespa has built in an option to transfer the soul weapon to one unique weapon from the other one. You can see that uh, this will give more maximum HP and attack to the character and you will get a new skill for Ricardo. This is uh, increasing his defense and giving some physical damage and, and stun uh, and to whoever attacks him. And to do this he needs to be hit a hundred times. Now as far as I know you do not get charges while the weapon is activated, so for this 15 seconds you will not get any uh, any charges. And there is a limit to how many times you can use this per battle, so it's per battle, not per character or anything, it's per battle. Um, that's something to be aware of. Uh, let's just do it. Although I do not see Ricardo ever being using this, because he's like a PvP character and you do not get hit a hundred times in PvP because then you're just dead. Well, whatever. Let's just showcase him. So, Ricardo comes, meets Kane, and receives his weapon. Some animation for him. Okay, so Ricardo has a new weapon. Great. Okay. So now you can see the weapon has disappeared from here because we do not have a soul for him any longer. You can no longer unleash it. Now what can you do if you get duplicates? Well, you can advance the soul weapon. You can see Kane here who already has it unleashed or we can see Ricardo. Unleashing the weapon will give you this advancement phase which will not only um, increase the stats it has, but it will give you new skills or new abilities to the unique weapon. You can see that you need to enhance it to plus 5 and you also need to have two more soul weapons. And there is a second phase to this uh, where you will need, I believe, three or five, I'm not quite sure. Good luck with getting that many that you will need to will pretty heavily for that, I believe. But yep. This is how you can use the extra souls that you have, or you can grind them for the specific buffs that you might, uh, for the specific fragments, not buffs. Now, how do you, this is the ether enhancement, 
option which will just do one for Kane. You can see that this one is at plus one and already requires more eaters and this is at zero. So let's just do one. I think you get uh, 10 for these so you can just click max. That requires 50 of them. Um, and you can also see that this has a success rate as you go up in levels not only the stats will go up but the chance will decrease so at a certain point you can fail this and there is no failure bonus as with unique weapons and other items also as you can see these items are only good for a certain level so the blue ones are good for 1 to 9 then 1 to 14 uh, till 16 and above that you will need these ones which will be really hard so getting a maxed out unique weapon you will have to farm pretty hard it's actually pretty hard to get these ones i think but let's just see add the eater and now it's rank one for now actually okay so we got some more attack some more hp woohoo and now you can see that it went up to 640 points that we need yeah, gonna need to farm for that. Where do you get Aether? That's from um, uh, Eclipse, which I will talk about later, but it's also part of this content. And there is also Soul Judgment. This is part of where you can receive new um, souls and you can receive Aethers. I will talk about how you get these in a bit, but just let me show you. If you do this, that here, you use 200 fragments and Kane will judge it. Oh, and I got a soul. Wow. You guys gave me luck. That's pretty cool. What did we get? I wonder. Oh, that looks funky. Okay. Infinite Springs. So I guess that's... Uh... Oh. Okay, I, I do not use Lily at all, but hey, it's something. So yeah, you guys gave me luck. That's cool. Um, so yeah, when you when you do this, uh, uh, judge the soul or soul judgment, um, you can either get an ether or you can get a soul randomly. The soul has like 15 percent chance to to get one. So and it's random, so you can never know what you get. Um, there is also the royal gift if you do 20 soul judgments so 2000 you need no 4000 of this sorry my math skills suck sometimes then you will get uh, a royal gift which is a random soul that you can use so if you run uh, the stages a lot then then you can get them see of course you can here see manage your unique uh, weapon with the soul update you can do the eater enhancement which you have already checked you can advance them and i wonder why it was actually showing the oh, it's here actually okay so yeah here you can see the advancement phase uh, stats or upgrades that you will get and also what the cooldown of this skill is and how many times you can use it in battle. So increases the duration of the sun, activation chance and reduces mana of the... Uh, well, yeah, it's, it, this looks like a PvP skill but getting hit a hundred times in PvP is a little bit meh. So I don't know, we'll see. You could transfer it to a different weapon Luckily this only requires 10 million gold, so if you unleash the wrong unique weapon you can transfer it over there or if you meanwhile receive the new one. And there is an option to arrange the stats as you can see. Right now attack and HP is balanced. For 200 rubies you can try and rearrange this. Um, it's totally random what you get. Let's just check it once. So. gave me a little bit more attack and less HP but you can choose well he's a tank he needs more uh, HP so gonna 
keep the old one. Uh, yeah, at least the uh, the cost doesn't go up as it did with uh, reforging stats, so that's a good thing. All in all. Okay, so this is how you manage your weapons and do the soul judgment. Now, how do you get the souls for judgment, so these fragments? You get them by going to the trial of the god king. As you can see, I have two tickets now. These are recharged uh, every month on Monday when the game resets. Um, you get two of them and for a thousand rubies you can get two more. Now there are three different bosses which you can unlock and fight for these fragments and other stuff. Um, what you need to know is that once you unlock one of the dungeons using one of your keys, you cannot use, uh, you cannot unlock another dungeon anymore until you have cleared that one. Um, I haven't done the warrior yet, so just gonna unlock this one. It does tell you that you will not be able to clear any other. Okay, and this is the trial that we need to do actually before the quest expires today, so that's good stuff. So you get to face the bosses. Um, they are pretty tricky and I heard that even on the higher levels even players are struggling, so good job Vespa. Again, a thing that is a bit over overtuned, but whatever. Now as you can see, there is a first clear bonus and there is a, a normal bonus for clearing. Um, I would say rank 1 is not really worth it unless you really do not have any heroes yet that you can use to clear these and you just want to get uh, get your tickets out of the way and just get some minimal bonus, but rank 1 is not really worth it at all. Rank 2 gives a minimal amount of these soul shards which you have seen from grinding, 5 and 5. <laughs> and you get 80 of these for, for a clear. It's might, it might be worth it to do this once, just for the first clear bonus, but not really to farm. And you need a thousand of these to actually craft a soul stone ticket, so that's gonna take a real long time. And as you go up, after three, there is a small chance to obtain a random ticket, either for knight or warrior. And as you can see, both the first clear bonus goes up and the normal uh, rewards go up. As you go higher, it gets better and better. At stage 5, it's pretty cool, you get 150. And then at stage 6, you get 240 of these. So if you can do stage 6, then you are one of the lucky people and you can do this fair farm this fairly comfortably. 200 means you can get one sword judgment per ticket. Um, but yeah, good luck with that. Stage 6 is really hard and then there is stage 7 which gives pretty cool bonuses. Now one thing to note about the first clear, you do not get the previous stages for clearing say uh, stage 4. So that means that if you start with stage 4 and clear it, then the first clear bonus for 1, 2 and 3 will still be there. Uh, you can go back to those. Also if you cannot clear a higher level you can do the lower one, so at least there is that considering that you cannot change your choice after opening the dungeon. Um, and as you can see, even though I have a ticket, I cannot go to a different one until I have cleared this. So that's something to note. Um, so this is one way of obtaining the, uni uh, the souls. It will take a long time because, yeah, you need to farm for a very, very long time to get uh, a selector and even then, um, yeah, it's just gonna take a long time. The rest is random. At least every ten, every 20 or so you will get one random one, so who knows, depends on your luck. I have heard people dropping a lot of money on the game and not getting anything because there is in the shop a new option under equipment where, not here, it's here. Using this one you have a small chance of obtaining soul weapons, so it does say a chance. Let's see what does, does the game say officially. Or it might just die on us. No, it doesn't. So, 0 0.1 chance. Okay. That's really, <laughs> really nice. And somewhere there it's 
it should say the one for for souls but it's really lagging here so I'm not gonna scroll through it so this is one one way there is also under special you can have um, this step up some oh they do not have it anymore that's curious oh yeah it's here so yeah if you do this then you can have a soul weapon, a unique weapon, a random soul, and there is a selector. This costs, I think, approximately 150 US dollars. So, if you have the money, it might be good for you. Um, but yeah, that's it. What else do we have? Well, I have mentioned doing Eclipse, which you need for Eaters. Uh, this is this new uh, mode in the game. Basically, you need to clear waves of monsters where your you can you can select your heroes um, per team and your team starts fight fighting these waves and as they get on they get debuffed they can no longer uh, use lifesteal or get healed and the stages get harder and harder and yeah after a while you will just die it's fairly easy until like stage 15 where the boss can one shot starts the usual one shot business that Vespa so loves and after that there are monsters that will just eat your teams and it's really a bit of a struggle to get through all your characters and to get to 20 which is a boss that's again just one shotting stuff left and right so I have been autoing this heavenly butter to try uh, that much a uh, good strategy is to put a weaker team in in front and then start going through them as they get stronger and stronger um, and hopefully with a stronger team you can actually kill the boss um, on wave 19 you still only get like uh, um, red eaters I believe after 20 you can get uh, yeah oh it's actually from wave 25 so after wave 25 you can get the yellow ones which you need for uh, upgrading your unique uh, your soul weapon above rank 16 so you need to clear above wave 25 I'm curious how you can do that but yeah <laughs> it's still worth to do this um, at least once a week the way it works that uh, this is a coach that you need to fill 1000 stamina points is one uh, used in in certain modes like dragons or stages will give one percent to this and also logging into the game gives somewhere between 14 and 16 percent i'm not quite sure but you can tell that about one uh, of these keys can can be obtained by playing the game every day without too much farming above that you will need to spend a good 100k stamina so that's a bit hard when you fill the gorge you get one of these keys uh, you can have three of them at one time and after that you will not get the gorge any longer so it's good to to at least use up one if you have three already when you do this then it will be used up there is a weekly mission for it so i would say it's good to run it at least once a week and try to get these so you can re uh, rank up and level up your soul weapons and yeah I think that's pretty much all about the soul weapons that there is to know I have seen that you can get some pretty decent stats from it like a hundred K attack or something like that for your damage dealers that's pretty fun if you have those kind of units and if you have the right soul weapon so I recommend doing it Sadly, there is a pretty big random chance to it, and so far it's been a bit disappointing to me, even though I just got the Lilia one, but yeah, I do not use her, so hmm. it's okay. Maybe I will keep her and try and build her unique weapon and, and use her in Arena or something, but um, let's just check actually how it looks like since we are already here. What does it do? I don't have her unique weapon actually, so I cannot check. Oh well whatever maybe maybe in the future i will use a selector for it and just give it a try she is pretty good above like three or four unique weapon stars then she can be good in arena or something so yeah that's it um that's pretty much all there is to the soul weapons um we have the first batch of them so there is only a select number of heroes which you can see 
that even though I have almost every character I can only do a number of them so this is the first batch um, the second was already unveiled by Westpad so we can see what's coming and we will have to wait a while until everyone is added of course this also means that uh, the shop's uh, pool will be diluted you need to you, it gets more and more random as you have more characters so if there is someone in the pool now that you would like it might be better to spend now if you are willing to spend because your chances are higher to get the one you want but nothing's guaranteed sadly so there are no no selectors other than those fragments so have to keep that in mind that you might end up like say Flynn who's dropped a good 4000 or something and still didn't get castle so whatever it's a random game you have to get used to that um, okay I think that's all there is to know about soul weapons for now uh, I wish you good luck with the random it and I'll see you at the next video cloudy out bye bye <laughs>